everybody. Hey, I'm here with Adam Brenner and John Kim from NVIDIA and Dell Technologies. They are here to talk about not only the uh, new NVIDIA RTX Pro 6000 BSE, but also how it's getting applied to various servers. We've got a Dell server here with AMD that Adam's gonna tell us about, and then we'll ask John to tell us a little more about this extra special card up there. Go ahead, Adam, tell us about this. Thank you, Joe. And everyone, what we have behind us here is the PowerEdge R7725. It's our latest generation of PowerEdge servers uh, featuring the new RTX Pro 6000 Blackwell Edition uh, Server Edition. And we have here featured two Blackwell servers running that they can run at full watt, 600 each, featuring two a uh, sockets supporting the latest AMD Epic servers, along with a flexible uh, backplane supporting a combination of HED, SSD, or NVMEs to your choice as well as more PCI slots for ConnectX cards going from 100, 200, 400, and beyond. People are coming by here. What do you imagine some of the use cases are that people are going to be applying this for? So the benefit of the R7725 is that it's a general workhorse. You can have them with or without GPUs, and due to the flexibility of the backplane, the number of sockets, the amount of memory you can stick in here, as well as the two uh, uh, RTX Pro 6000 server editions you can put in there. It's just an all around general purpose server that can you can use for general computing to graphics and everything in between. These are kind of designed also to help with studios with some of their AI workloads? Exactly. Uh, we have a demo uh, off screen that's actually showing the R7725 running some NVIDIA software along with the Dell AI data platform, which will help customers uh, unlock their storage uh, with, with data services offered by Dell and NVIDIA. This GP, Joe, this GPU is uh, one of what we call our universal GPUs. So this is the, R, the RTX Pro 6000 Blackwell Server Edition, and it's capable of running both AI workloads, scientific computing, and graphics offloads. So it has the ability to accelerate all those different kinds of workloads. So as Adam mentioned, you can use it for visualization, you can use it for graphics, for video, for rendering, as well as for AI work. And in this particular demo that we have running off the screen, uh, it's the ability to run the AI data platform. In this case, it's using both the AI capabilities and the graphics capabilities in this GPU in order to process images and then be able to do a semantic search and retrieval of those images and also do a, a simulated digital twin of a warehouse or a factory or a, uh, you know, the inside of a car or something like that. So uh, this GPU is really designed for enterprise. It's designed for the data center. Uh, it's very powerful. Uh, it's, it can run workloads anywhere from two times to four times faster than the previous generation. And it's also air-cooled, PCIe, uh, uses GDDR7 memory, and it's, uh, and it's from the new Blackwell, uh, Blackwell family of GPUs. So we're very excited about this and the ability to run it in these Dell servers. Uh, and it's really you know, the latest in the sort of NVIDIA universal GPU family that can run any kind of AI or graphics or, or video workloads. We were actually waiting for this to come out so that we could actually launch our VDI solution to CW, but we wanted to wait for it to get released because we knew something like this was coming. And this is now going to be the backbone of our whole VDI universe. The passive and the active cooling version. The server uses this version here, but uh, with the fan, is that more for the desktop kind of environment? That's right. The active cooling fans on the GPUs are usually more for the desktop or consumer models. You know, and we have some of those uh, in the Dell booth here and a different station. But this being a data center version, a server version of the RTX Pro 6000 Blackwell Server Edition, uh, it's passively cooled, but it's designed for servers like this Dell 7725, which have the airflow, they have the fans, it has the, the uh, management capabilities to make sure there's sufficient airflow to cool these GPUs. You can put up to two of them in this particular server, and Dell is coming out with other server models in the near future that will support uh, anywhere from one to eight of these uh, GPUs. Yeah. Absolutely, I, I stand behind a lot of uh, Dell servers in our data center, and yeah. the amount of uh, CFM that these things can pass through is great. And, and, and a little bit, little fun trivia fact: we have six of those fans here, and the variable speed and they can go up to over 10,000 RPMs. So, not something you want to put on your desktop. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. With these Dell servers, they're able to control, vary the speed of the fans as needed. So if the workload increases and the GPUs and the CPUs, I think in this case we have the uh, AMD, uh, AMD Epic, Epics. Yeah, yes. Epics in here. So if, as they run hotter, the fans speed up to get more cooling and you know, keep them cool and keep everything running well. Yeah, absolutely, modulating the power settings and the fan settings is a big part now of the power strategy as you're trying to fit as many of these into a rack as you can. Being able to have finite control over all that is. And speaking of power, with the R7725, we can support one or two power supplies 
either in an active-active configuration to provide more power or an A-B configuration for redundancy. Uh, again, it all depends on the configuration, how many sockets, memory, storage, and PCI uh, peripherals you use. Yes, this, this particular GPU has sort of two power modes, or the high power mode and the lower power mode. And one advantage of this Dell server is they can support two of these GPUs in high power mode for maximum performance. Gotcha. So this one, the, the Blackswell server edition in passive mode has those high and, and, and lower power modes, right? The passive cooling, yes. The passive cooling ones, yes. That's yeah. this model. Great, great. Okay, well, I, Adam and John, I really appreciate you guys' time. Uh, you know, this is why I always stop by the Dell booth when I am at Seagraph. Uh, the reality is, is whatever's happening this year at Seagraph, you're going to find it at the Tel booth, and this should kind of be where you start your tech journey. They're usually at the front anyway, so it makes it easy. But when you do come to Seagraph, make sure you stop at the Dell booth first, and then work your way around from there. That's what I do. See you, everybody.